What's up everybody, it's Open Throttle Gaming here. Today we're playing some Roblox, some uh, Cruise Ship Tycoon. And if you don't know what this game is, you can kind of see it in the background right now. There's a cruise ship and you cruise around and you get money. This video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be like how to get as much money as possible. Because as you can see, I have... Uh, I have 1.9 million, or not million, 1.9 billion dollars. I'm going for the record. And uh, I'll show you how to get as much money as you possibly can. Now, it, the game did just have an update. So, let's wait, wait for everything to load in. I'll show you that I have four albatrosses, which are the most expensive ship in the game, and a titanic. So when you very first start this game, you start out in a heron, which is $80,000. Then the next one is a raven, and it is $200,000. Then next is the mallard, which is $500,000, half a million. Next is a pelican, uh, it's a million dollars. The Osprey is two thousand. I'm sorry, two million dollars. The Cormorant is a Alpha Tester only vehicle or vehicle ship. So if you see one, that means whoever's uh, using it was had this game in the Alpha stages. Uh, and then there's the Albatross, which is what I have, which is four million dollars. And I'm just gonna go through how it's quite ugly. It's an ugly ship, but. It gets me a crap ton of money. So, if you haven't played this game before, there are six islands. Oh, shut up. So there's new new part, which is where you start, and then there's iceberg. Then there's three placeholder islands, which will be different things in the future. So I think one of them is going to be a volcano or something like that. And then you've got Orion City. So. Um, I guess I'll just go floor by floor and show you from like the lowest floor and I'm actually planning on restarting or opening another save so I can play with some of my friends. When that happens I'll tell you the best builds for those but for now I'm just going to show you the albatross. So it's on autopilot so I don't have to worry about driving it myself but the lowest level is basically filled completely with batteries, a uh, set of stairs, and four uh, nuclear reactors, which currently aren't active, which I don't know why. Anyway, so you just fill up, put in four reactors, then fill the rest with batteries. You go up a level, I'm going to always start from the front and work my way back, just by the way. I have four food storages, a couple more batteries, a couple. I just completely filled this area. So the reactors take up two floors, and the second floor is mostly batteries, and then you've got crew cabins. Uh, I'm kind of going slowly so you can see how it's organized. So there's one there, there's two there. A lot here. <laughs> I think it's three. Yeah, three. I've got six. Um, what are they called? Housekeeping rooms, and then we get to like actual building where I can get money. So these are two suites, and they're facing inward. So like the balcony is actually on the inside rather than the outside. That's why there's random doors on the side of the ship. Um, and so you want to use suites because those get you the most money or the master suite, whatever it's called. called. Then you got a shuffleboard here, five batteries, and then a, uh, three bowling alleys in the back, and then a set of stairs that goes kind of through the bowling alleys. Which, again, if you just want to pause this and look at it, I'm going to go back up to the front. Okay, so this is now the third floor. Just fill this part up with batteries, then do suites until 
think you just go all the way. Yeah, just sweets all the way. And then you do a little taco area back here. And you will get complaints, but eh, it's not worth it. It's not worth trying to figure it out. Put a, a table there, put five tables behind the staircase, and then just fill the rest with shuffle boards. And then in front of the first staircase, put another one up. Now we're on the fourth floor, which has the first deck area. So I'm just gonna kinda leave it here for a second, but you want it to look exactly how my ship looks if you wanna get as much money as you possibly can. Uh, so this is a pizza place, I believe. And see, this ship is also super fast. You can see we're already at the next island. And that's because of all the batteries and um, reactors and stuff. So this is what the front deck looks like. Then you get two bathrooms. Then you get one, two, three, three suites on one side and then put bathrooms. So that's six uh, before the bathrooms. Then after the bathrooms, you got, hold on, one, two, three, four, so slow, five, six. And then you do shuffle boards all the way, except for the middle, leave a gap for the bathrooms. Then two more batteries. Then the back deck is just filled with batteries. Do another staircase. And you want to make sure that this, these two panels right here are doors, because otherwise the passengers won't be able to go anywhere and you'll lose money. So this is now the fifth floor. It's one deck up from the fourth floor. Duh, obviously. So you want to put more restrooms here, more bathrooms, and then you just fill all the way to the back with suites. And then fill the batteries. Let's see how many batteries? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 batteries, looks like. Yeah, 16 batteries. And five shuffleboards. And it's just sweets all the way back. Sorry for the lag, there's someone else lagging the. And you just fill any void just for uh, reference, future reference, any void space you can find, put a battery. Because that'll help you. So that's the fifth floor. Now we move on to the sixth floor. All right, so this is the sixth floor. Now, normally this would be like the uh, captain's uh, operation room or whatever, but since it's a completely electric vehicle, I don't really have to worry about that much, but I, you don't really need that anyway. So, three chess boards, staircase, shuffle boards, um, a couple batteries. You wanna do four movie theaters back to back like this. And then four shopping areas, which they don't do anything yet, but in the future it'll help. Then you wanna, uh, if you want it to look clean, so that this inside isn't bright green like mine is. <laughs> now you can do any color you want to, obviously, but I've got a door here to separate the inside and the outside. But then you come outside and there's two bars. I don't know why this isn't working. Okay, so we got two bars. We've got two more pizza places. Oh, I'm sorry, no, these are burger places, my bad. So the corner ones are burger places. You want tables like this, there are six, or there's five in a row, and then you want two taco places right here. These are two pizza places, this is what I was thinking. So pizza places, and then tables, We've got one suite looks like. Oh, okay, so this is one suite and this is one mini suite. And this is one suite too. 
then this is a bathroom. And these are just void, uh, fill in the void with batteries. And then onto the top floor. All right, so this is the seventh floor. Want a taco place up front, a couple batteries, and then you want to leave a gap. So you can put a couple batteries there, and then you want eight bathrooms, eight of the big, large bathrooms, and a staircase up. Sorry, it's been a little bit laggy. And then there's a swimming pool. This is the biggest one you can fit. Actually, no, it's the second biggest one you could fit that'll fit properly. Then you just fill all of this up with batteries, because the more batteries you have, the more power you can get, the more speed you can get which this ship goes about 50 knots, I think. And that's not the fastest I've gotten it. I've gotten it up to 100 knots, I think. And then this is the second part of the seventh floor. You've got two bars, two batteries, a bowling alley, two burger places, a retail store, and two bathrooms. And then you just fill the rest of the spots up with batteries and then this is the top floor so I'm not going to start from the front like I normally do but this is just filled with solar panels that'll just kind of help the batteries take less time and then over here once I get to it because it's been so laggy there's the top part of the pool there's some chess tables some jacuzzis um, some, uh, what are those things called? Beach chairs with umbrellas and two bars. Well, it's really one bar, but it's separated into two parts in the menu. And you got another chessboard. And uh, that's it. That's how you can make, I think this ship makes one and a half uh, million dollars per 24 hours. Now multiply that times four. Uh, now that's in-game hours, that's what I mean. While I'm waiting for the monies, to show up so I can show you exactly how all that works. I have a few announcements. So I didn't upload last week. I, gonna be honest, totally forgot about it. And also I wanted to have a, a little bit of a surprise, but that surprise didn't happen. So hopefully next time I record. Uh, and then next week, I will not record or post a video because I will be out of town. I'll be visiting my dad for a week. Um, and I, I can't bring my setup with me, so it'll be another two weeks from today before there'll be another video. Okay, so here we go. This is, this is how it looks. This is about, it fluctuates, so I only made 1.3 million this time from this ship, but my base daily fare is, which I have max passengers that you can get. It's 250 and I have 250 So the base daily fare is 262000 which is incredible. And then I've got speed for, so I got more miles because of my speed. So that multiplies it by 200 times, over 200 times. So that um, more than doubled it. Then I visited three ports within 24 hours because of my speed. That got me plus 45%, which that's, I added half, basically. Then I have a 3.9 star rating, which you can get more. It is possible, which gave me 153% boost, which got me up to a million. And then it subtracts the crew salaries, which are very small compared to uh, how much I've gained. See, you can see the difference. It's not really much. So that's from one ship I got 1.3 million. I'm rounding up, obviously. And then each of these ships are 
a little bit different because they spent longer times and then you can see the Titanic doesn't make me much money. So, oh, also, like I said, this is a completely electric ship, meaning I don't have to pay for fuel. Meaning every time I go and stop and dock, I fill up my battery all the way so I can get to the next dock as soon as possible. And I refill my supplies too, which I don't need to, but I do. Here are my ratings. Now all my ships are the same. So, um, so it gets a 3.9 star rating. I have a 3.5 star rating in basic needs, but basic needs are restrooms, food, basically. Crowdedness means, you know, how much room they have. Decoration, got plenty of that. Variety is, like, differences. Like, instead of using just one particular type of plant, you use more than one type of plant. And then entertainment is, you know, like bowling, uh, movie theaters, shuffleboard, chess, jacuzzis, pools, that kind of stuff. And, yeah, that's really all I got. I have my routes full crew slots um, the maintenance are the uh, people who deal with the uh, nuclear reactors and I got total passengers 250 which is the max I can get and that's really it so anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you take this advice and edit it to make it your own just a little bit and I'll leave uh, a link in the description for my discord channel server and then also the discord server for this um, game if I can if it'll let me if not the only there's only going to be one and that's my server and then I'll invite you through uh, my server which is fine anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe uh, hit that bell button for notifications and I will talk to you guys later